Thank you for tuning in to Christians in the White Place. We are happy to be able to come into your home, your automobile, your cars, wherever you may be, to share a word. And we are here with a special interview at First Baptist Church of Richmond Park. Thank you, First Baptist Church of Richmond Park, and that's why I have one of my questions about the town. But we're delighted to be at a historical church over 100 years old. That's wonderful, wonderful, yes. wonderful. <laughs> so we have our special guest with us, the pastor and the First Lady of First Baptist of Richmond Park. And we're going to uh, do the devotional. We're going to ask First Lady to do the scripture. And we're going to ask uh, Reverend Harold, will you take us to the throne of grace? I give reverence and obedience to God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And I just thank God for all of you who are tuning in with us today. Our opening passage of scripture will be found in Isaiah, the 40th chapter beginning at the 28th verse down to the 31st verse. And I will read those verses. And it reads, Has thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. That is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Father, we, your servants, come before your throne, Lord, in this afternoon, thanking you, Lord God, for another day, Thank you. thanking you, Lord God, for another time, thanking you for waking us up, starting us on our way, O oh Lord, giving us your grace and mercy as we, as we head throughout this day. Yes. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for dispatching your angels around us. We just thank you, Father, for food, water, raiment. We thank you for our health and strength. But above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, thank our Savior, you. who you gave to die and yet live again, that we who would believe on him would not perish but would have an everlasting life. Father, we just thank you today for Jesus Christ. We thank you, O oh Lord, for sending Jesus to be our Savior, our Messiah, our protector, our deliverer, our healer, and our sustainer. And we just thank you today. We thank you, O oh Lord, for blessings here blessings yet on the way and when they arrive teach us to be good stewards of everyone we thank you O lord for all churches open in your name O lord we pray you build them up where they're torn down strengthen them where they're weak bless every preaching teacher pastor and shepherd priest and pope evangelists bishops uh, ambassadors leaders for you keep a word on our tongues that we would encourage all those that come to hear a word from the Lord, O oh Lord, that the wages of sin is death, but your gift is eternal life. Amen. We just thank you, O oh Lord, for a word from on high Amen. to give to those who don't know you and the pardon of their Lord. sins. Amen. Father, we just pray that we, we'll have a word to tell them, O oh Lord, that when they come saying, what must I do to be saved, we'll tell them to accept you into their lives. Believe on the name Jesus Christ. Confess, O oh Lord, that you are the only begotten Son, the resurrected Savior, and to call upon your holy and righteous name. For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And we thank you today. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you for all the opportunities that you sent our way. O oh Lord, we thank you for blessings here and blessings yet on the way. Just teach thank us to be good stewards. We thank you, O oh Lord, for our health and strength, mobility of our lambs. Thank you, we just pray we'd go forth always showing that we are servants of yours through the things we do and say. 
And we pray in all that we do, we'll be mindful to give your praise, glory, and honor. We ask you to bless, oh Lord, the First Baptist Church of Richmond Park. We pray you continue to use us to be a light in this community. To encourage others, oh Lord, to look unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. We thank you, Lord, for this day. This is a day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is in the matchless name of Jesus we pray this prayer. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank Praise you, Lord God. God. Well, I'm a little excited about doing the interview so more because of the church name. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> because yes. of the church name. Uh, and I, before I get into the meat of the interview, I would like uh -huh. to explain how did you come by naming the First Baptist Church of Richmond Park. Well, first of all, I didn't name it. <laughs> it had that name when I got here as a young boy. Um, I think I was fifth or sixth grade uh, when I first came to the church. But uh, my understanding uh, about it, uh, First Baptist Church was the name, but it was located in this area, and this area is called Richmond Park. Okay, and so it's been here. This church has been an establishment for this area uh, for, like you said, over 100 years. And uh, they used to teach uh, elementary school here, uh, 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 kindergarten. Uh, there's a bell at the front of the church that, uh, that they would ring for special occasions. I mean, you know, they had uh, the, 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 the nurses from the doctors would meet uh, folks down here, you know, to get their, their, their shots and things like that. So this was a central place for this, this neighborhood. It was a prominent place where uh, uh, they would come and meet. Uh, so, First Baptist Church has been uh, an establishment for this neighborhood uh, for, like I said, over 100 years. And there have been other churches that have spin off uh, from this church. won't say what those names are, yeah. but you can imagine the church being here. Uh, folks have left and started other churches right here from First Baptist Church of Richmond Park. And, and there's still a lot of folks say, where's Richmond Park? Well, they, they refer to it now as Easy Town. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. that's the neighborhood, uh -huh. but uh, this is Richmond Park. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Well, like I shared with First Lady, nowadays they have the, the storefront churches and they go and come fast. Mm -hmm. And I know that being the spiritual field myself, the spiritual denomination, they started in houses. Yes, yeah. <laughs> they started in houses, some of them break shouting. Right. To churches. Yeah. Well, I'm sure this one started out very small. I mean, it has uh, evolved over the years. Uh, I, I can remember uh, when uh, Katrina came through and this church took a, took a hit. Uh, we actually had to renovate the sanctuary and we, uh, we actually had to do the walls. And when we pulled the, uh, the old panel down from the walls, we actually had on one side it said men only. Uh, and women only. On, so the men sit on one side back in the day, and oh, the women wow. sit on the other side. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually took some pictures of that. I thought that that was historic. Yeah. You know. Right. So uh, we found some things once we, uh, you know, started to renovate the church, and uh, yeah. and uh, it it started to evolve. But uh, yeah, it has really grown from rocky road out there. I'm sure <laughs> the mud roads to to the nice pavement roads we have out there now. Yes, Lord. Well. I know that you, you have been pastor of a little over a year. Yes, here. that's correct. Right. And uh, I would like to uh, ask you, what I want to ask First Lady first, mm -hmm. uh, how is Phil being the First Lady? <laughs> <laughs> I know that you know, there are mixed emotions. I, I give God the praise, glory, and honor because I recognize that he had set this into place, you know, years and years before I even began to imagine it. So I'm honored by it. Uh, I'm humbled by it. And I'm just looking to see what our God is going to do with me in this position. Yeah, I was sharing with someone, in fact it was Dr. Norwood, she was actually, she asked me something about the pastor's aid. And I said, well, I'm from Red Lake, Mississippi, so the pastor's aid, the pastor's wife, with, with the pastor's aid club and they saw that the, that the pastor had all everything that he needed they were responsible for that mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and going to and fro and traveling but uh 
I want to talk about the ministry since you've been here. Mm -hmm. Since you've been the senior yeah. pastor. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> as you know, you know, I, I say I grew up here at First Baptist Church, and I was the youth minister here uh, under uh, Pastor William Davis Senior. And uh, then I became an associate minister, then his assistant, uh, a pastor, and uh, then ultimately the, the pastor here. And so I, I've seen, you know, the ministries here at First Baptist Church grow. Uh, we've had a lot of people to come, a lot of people to go. And believe it or not, we have many people out there that say that they are part of First Baptist Church yeah. of Richmond Park. We just don't see them in the pews. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, ministries here, uh, we've got people here that are dedicated uh, to the ministry and, uh, and helping it to grow and want to see it grow. Uh, they do all that they can. Uh, you know, you always say you have the, the, the faithful few. Uh, I like to think that we have a little bit more than the faithful few. But we do have those that are very dedicated um, uh, to, to working in the church, uh, taking the message outside of the church. Uh, we, we, we really like going to the nursing home. Haven't been doing it as much as since the pandemic. But we also would go take the word to uh, the detention center. Uh, we'd take the word, uh, you know, to several places that uh, uh, that the ministry, not only here, but, you know, outside the doors. Yeah. Uh, we have a dedicated team that come uh, since the pandemic and actually clean up the church. Yeah. Uh, and uh, thank God for all of them that do that to make sure that everything's uh, uh, sanitized before the congregation yeah. gets here. And, and that's a ministry in itself. Yeah. But uh, we're slowly but surely getting back to... Uh, the ministries we had prior to the pandemic but the main thing is to preach the word yeah. you know everything is about Jesus everything points to Jesus uh, yeah. it's, it's 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 all about uh, uh, God's son and and how he has delivered us from this yeah. world of sin uh, through our belief and through our faith Praise God. well first lady I want to ask you okay. <laughs> well I think on the task the first lady and I know that you by me visiting here sometime. I know you work with the younger people, and I know that's important because we have to have the younger. The older have to teach the younger. That's right. <laughs> and nowadays it's a whole different, it's so much different than the Sunday school and the Bible, BTU, mm -hmm. when I was, yes. when we, it was mandatory for us to do BTU. Mm -hmm. We had no choice of the matter. We were told. You be at BTU now, regardless. Right. Yeah. Well, I was raised here at First Baptist Church. As a matter of fact, the pastor joined and he met me here. Yeah. This is our home church. Uh, my great grandfather was one of the founders of First Baptist Church, oh. and uh, right. of Lad Davis, right. and uh, on my mom's side. So I didn't know anything but First Baptist, and so I was trained up as a little girl. Uh, I guess when I was old enough to uh, recite a poem, I was singing in the choir, and so I, I recognize in retrospect that God was just raising me up uh, to get to the point where I am now. He brought me into the ministry, and now I am the pastor's help me. So I, I give God praises for that, and I'm active in uh, singing in the choir. Mm -hmm. I move from singing in the choir to the pulpit or vice versa, whatever the pastor uh, asks of me, I assist him as one of the ministers here at the church. I'm active with uh, the young people. Mm -hmm. As you've already said, I'm one of the youth leaders here at First Baptist Church. I'm a part of the mission ministry. Um, I'm a part of the cleaning crew that comes <laughs> uh, every Thursday to vigilantly uh, sanitize the church. So. I've been all over the place, and even as First Lady, I won't stop because I believe that there is another ministry on the inside of me. I don't know where God would lead me. I know He's uh, leading me more so towards uh, the youth, like you say. We have to train up our children now so that as we pass on, then those that are coming behind us will be equipped, you know, to take up the banner and continue the work going forward, you know.